Right, we're not at the boat, as you can see. We're um, at home. But that doesn't stop us doing stuff for the boat. <laughs> Although I'm not. I'm actually doing other stuff at home. But You're doing housey stuff. Uh, Ali is actually... Um, um, she's doing the varnishing, um, the staining actually at the moment, um, for all of the external doors and the side hatches. Yeah, so what, what I've done, unfortunately, I mean, I've, I've sanded it all down and got all the marks off of it, but I don't know if, um, where there's glue touching it, if you come have a look here, some of them, I don't know where... I've, I've sanded it all up, I couldn't see anything or feel anything on there, but something's coming through here, unfortunately, but I can't do anything about that, but I'm really pleased with the colour. Um, if you look at the acoustic panels, I think that's going to look quite good together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the look of wood, isn't it? It's all different colours, so it doesn't have to match. So, um, MD Wood Tech are doing our portholes. Uh, sorry, our window liners, and they very kindly let me buy some stain and lacquer that they're using on our portholes to stain all the oak doors. I've got to say, massive shout out to MD Winter, they've been brilliant, haven't they? Yeah, certainly are. They're so helpful, really are, and they do all, all joinery, and so, um, yeah, massive shout out to them. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the colour this is, uh, so we're going to put all these on when we next go up there. Yeah, yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to them going up onto the metal doors. Yeah. Um, it'll make such a difference um, to the interior. Also, Paul's been up there this weekend, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah from Lockgate. Yeah. He's done some videoing, so uh, we can always pop that on. Don't know what he's done, but yeah, just to show how it all works and stuff. Well, he went back because he had to fit the um, diesel tank, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, so, and, and finish the um, fuel line for that. Yeah. Um, but everything else was done the week before. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're pretty excited to go back up there and um, have a look. look. Yeah. And thank you to Dave for showing him and letting him in. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of Dynamic Dave Dynamic did his Dave. bit for us. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think the big thing for us will definitely be once these go on. Yeah. It's going to look so different. So what I'm going to do, they sent me the lacquer and there's a hardener with them, with it. So we've got to do, I think it's one in ten ratio. Um, but it dries within 15 minutes. So we're going to put a coat of lacquer on, give it a light sand and then another coat. And then that will be it. They'll be done. Yeah. So it's just a shame about this part, but what can you do? Yeah. Still, they're looking good. They are. These are all the other ones here. Yeah, they're all done they're there. Done. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking really good. There's some bits out there. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Just to prove even when we're not at the boat, we're still doing work. Well, Ali <laughs> is anyway. Well, so yeah, you're doing work around the house. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, we'll leave it at that for the moment. But you can see all the hard work that's going into it. And uh, we'll catch you later. Okay, time for the lacquer to go on. Um, we've got to give it a coat and then a light sand and then another coat. But we are very pleased of how this is coming out. The lacquer's really bringing the grain of the wood out. And, yeah, really happy with how it's looking. It absolutely stinks, though. <laughs> And it's raining outside, so we can't open the doors right up, but we have got the door open. Phew. But um, <clears throat> anyway, are you pleased with that? Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks really good, yeah. Lovely. Just giving them a little sand now um, before the last coat. This uh, lac has been brilliant because it's got the hardener that we add to it, so it's dry within 15 minutes. It's great. These have been sanded and had their last coat of lacquer now. Um, Lee's just sanding the little bits to go around the fireplace. So we'll say goodbye and we're going to post some videos up because, as we said, Paul from Lockgate were at the boat this weekend. So um, Paul did some videoing showing us 
how the fire works and stuff. So we'll post that up now and we'll say goodbye for now. Yeah, so we've just started turn blue. Majority yellow flames turn. See where it goes blue around the edges? With those top air holes, the glow of the uh, mash is starting to glow now. Um, and then over the next few minutes, we're going to lose a bit more on that yellow and it'll start to go more blue. Yeah, hi. So as you can see, we'll give it a couple of minutes. The flame, the yellow flame's got the higher, especially it's over that probe. All it'll do now is keep getting bigger. The yellow flame goes sort of small with the fire lighter, gets bigger, a bigger yellow flame, and then once it gets to temperature, it goes blue, and then the mesh will start to glow red. So a couple of minutes in, I'm going to press this button. Yeah, you can tell that's latched down. Like I say, the red part will come back up, but the pin inside the mechanism will stay down because it's recognised as a flame now. So we're going to give that a couple more minutes, about two, another two or three minutes, and hopefully it should go blue. Yeah, so that's it, set to number one. So we've run number one for a couple of minutes now. So what I expect to see is the mesh glowing red, those blue little gas, look like gas flames from where the air holes are a bit further down in the pot. Um, those to be blue. I know it looks a little bit yellow on this camera, but um, it's not actually yellow. It looks very blue to the eye. Um, that bit of yellow in there will just be because we've lit it with fire lighter, and then once that's burnt off, it'll be a lot more bluer. Um, yeah, so that's taken away on low. Well, especially, like I said, there's, there's blue flames a bit lower down, red mesh, shimmer of blue on top. Um, and then as you turn it up, the, the, the plume on top of the burner pot will get higher. Uh, you might get flickers of yellow on a higher setting. That's okay, that's not sooty. Um, if you start losing the blue, you start losing the red of the glow when you start getting a bit too low and then it goes yellow, then that's the sooty bit. Like if you were to turn it off, um, it dies off in yellow flame into the corner. Um, that's what you expect to see if it starts losing fuel or if you've got to turn a tap on or something like that or if you forget to press a red button but it looks like it's ticking away quite nicely right see you later so here's the tank installed bolted it's off the floor so if it does get wet then you'll find that it's it can dry out quite easily and your isolation taps down there for the cap breathing for the cap managed to get about three quarters of that in so we left a little bit in the bottom for you just jump down here lovely not having an engine so through the bulkhead fitting under the deck over the pipe into a filter that's got a cleanable gauze inside I've obviously turn the tap off up there before you check that filter i'll do that annually once a year the check's all right comes along goes through there this is where I'm going to fall over more. Oh, excuse me. Through there, see that. We've gone into plastic pipe. We've used a middle run. I don't know if that was for something, but if it is, just pop it out. Our pipe's got the black tape on. I'll come all out to where the stove is. Isolation tap near the stove. Goes up the back of there through there that little stop cock there that's an automatic fire valve so in the event of a fire that would get 70 degrees and that would that would shut off the red button is a flame fail device you will have to press that when it's when it's lit and the thermocouple recognizes it as a flame cleaning needle pull back about four inches what to do once a week make sure that goes all the way in right up to that the edge the corner part and then pull it back about four inches and just leave it there once a week you push it in pull it back Regulator, we've got fuel into the regulator now and find a little bit where you can see it, it's in the pot. So I'll do another quick video of what we do when we light it. So this is, I've taken the basket out, taken that part out um, and I've put in there, you can see it to the side, about the centre of the screen, there's a square bit of fire lighter there. But there, if you notice, centre of the video again, there's a probe that sticks out. I want the flame off the fire lighter to come onto that probe. So we'll light it with fire lighters this first time. Um, and then we'll, okay, there you go. Right, I might have to <laughs> try and hold the lid up with the phone whilst taking a video and set the light to something. So, 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 so. So we set light to that. 
lock it. Yeah, the keys are back in there. And I'll put them back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy that fire lighter is burning. Basically, that's where the fuel comes in. And it's also where that probe is at the top. So we'll give that a couple of minutes to like warm the probe up. But whilst we've, we're happy, the fire light is lit inside. We'll put the cage back in. Um, so we're going to turn the fuel on now. Fuel's off currently. Yeah, it's at the zero there. Up a little bit of RAM, bit of resistance, number one. And for light it, we're going to put it on number two. So we'll give that about two or three minutes. That yellow flame inside, that will get bigger and bigger. Once it's big enough, we'll press the red button. So after about three minutes, two or three minutes, we'll press that red button. The red button itself, it basically, the red button, when you push it down, it pushes a pin down inside the mechanism and the red part will come back up. And when it recognises, the thermocouple recognises the flame, the pin will stay down basically until there's no flame there. So if it were to blow out or you turn it off, um, it'll recognise it, drop a pin, shut fuel off. So it's not quite there yet because it's not two or three minutes. So we're going to give that a couple of minutes, that burning like that. I'll come back to you. 